Hey there. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at a mod called Trajectories. What this mod does is provide you with a revised suborbital path in the map view based on taking into consideration the effects of atmosphere on your vessel. As a result, this mod is an invaluable tool for planning precision landings on Kerbin or any other atmospheric body in the Kerbal system. So without further ado, let's do a quick install and then take a look at trajectories. Okay, so with CCAN open, we're just going to do a search for trajectories, select it for install, have a quick look at relationships. You can see it depends on module manager, which we've already uh, installed in a previous episode. Conflicts with nothing, so we're okay to go. Let's install. And we're set. So let's go in game and have a look. Okay, I already have a vehicle in space, so let's go to the tracking station and get on board. Alright, here we are in a nice stable 100k orbit, but let's say we want to deorbit to the Kerbal Space Center. The first thing we do is create a maneuver node in the map view. And when we go to the map view, you can see our new toolbar icon for the trajectories mod. Before we look at that though, let's take a minute and talk about the issue with stock trajectories. In stock KSP, if you do a deorbit maneuver, the plotted trajectory shown in the map view will be inaccurate for a couple reasons. First of all, the stock trajectory doesn't account for atmospheric drag and it'll project the landing site significantly more downrange than you'll actually travel. Secondly, it doesn't reflect planetary rotation. So when you're trying to plan a maneuver node to deorbit to a specific point on the surface like the KSC, you can't actually create the maneuver so that the orbit terminates at the KSC because the KSC will have rotated away by the time you get there. This mod addresses both these issues and allows you to plan a trajectory with pretty amazing accuracy. So let's delete this node and have a look at trajectories. When you select the icon in the toolbar, you get the trajectories window. Here you can see a number of options. Trajectory display, which toggles it on or off, as well as complete, which adds the white line outside the atmosphere in addition to the default red line for the trajectory path inside the atmosphere. Next we have the fixed body mode, which I've never had to use, so I'll leave it to you to read about that on the mod page in the KSP forums. Then we have max g-force and impact velocity displays. These will be updated based on the trajectory you select. Next we have the target section, which you will expand to show a couple different options. As you can see, there's a default button to select the KSC as the target, as well as the current impact location and a box for manually entering the target location by latitude and longitude. Below that, we have the descent profile section where you specify a prograde or retrograde profile. This is an important setting that needs to match your vehicle in order to produce an accurate trajectory. If you have a space plane, for instance, you'll want to bring it in nose first in a prograde descent profile. But if you're using a traditional capsule setup with a heat shield on the bottom, then you'll need to set a retrograde profile. You can also expand this section to set your angle of attack parameters to fine tune your trajectory but I've never had to do this to get accurate landings. Lastly, there's the settings section. I wouldn't recommend you play with any of these settings until reading up on them first. Personally, I tend to leave this section alone. Okay, so let's create a trajectory to drop us right in on the KSC. First, we'll need to set KSC as our target and then set the descent profile to retrograde since we're using a command pod. As you can see, this places a green target crosshair on Kerbin that we will now need to align with our red trajectory crosshair, which we'll create with a maneuver node. Now you want to set your red X just slightly beyond your target. And the reason for this is that trajectories doesn't model parachutes. So you can always kill off the last 100 meters per second of velocity with a parachute deployment if necessary. Conversely, if you're using a space plane, you can set it to come up a bit short because the mod doesn't model the lift from stock wings either and obviously 
they'll carry you a bit farther even without your engines. So now that we have a trajectory set, let's go execute the maneuver and follow this vehicle back to Kerbin. To help you understand this a little bit better, the difference between the stock trajectory and the red trajectory is the effect of the atmosphere. Whereas the difference between the red trajectory and the red X, which will be your impact point, is the effect of planetary rotation. I'm going to fast forward this portion of the video so you guys don't get bored to death. While we're on descent, there's one more thing I need to mention, and that is you'll need to be careful with staging. If you're creating your descent maneuver with a stage that you plan to release before re-entry, then you'll run into trouble coming up short with your projected landing site. That's because when you drop a stage after Trajectories has plotted your course, you're reducing the weight of your vehicle, and therefore the kinetic energy it had. As a result, the atmosphere will slow your vehicle faster than anticipated, and you won't make it to your target location. This item is identified by the mod author as an enhancement which is on the books, but for now there's no way around this other than to make a vessel that has enough power to deorbit within the final stage. Well, there you have it guys. Go download the Trajectories mod if you want beauty landings like this one. So I wish you all safe landings, and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care.